welcome to Sega Studios, folks. Uh, my name is Konstantin Anzopoulos. I'm the studio director, and I'm here to give you a tour of this absolutely awesome place. Our team is working on the game for the 360 and the PS3, the next generation consoles. The overall philosophy of this game is to live the fantasy of Iron Man, right? I mean, that's kind of where we start. We put you in the shoes of Iron Man and let you save the world. One of the things we did when we finished Iron Man 1 was we took a look at uh, the original game and what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it. The things we wanted to do to improve flying was make the controls even simpler. The flight is phenomenally better than the first game. It's just a lot more contextual. You really don't even need a tutorial. If you've played any of a number of console games out there, the control scheme for Iron Man 2 will be immediately familiar to you. So when you get into the game now, you just get in and go. Destructibility. When you have super-powered characters in battle armor slugging it out, there's going to be collateral damage. Buildings are going to get destroyed. Glass is going to break. The team does a great job of bringing that destructibility and that chaos to the gameplay that we didn't see in the first game. We wanted to get the action up close and in the player's face. We've changed the mechanics for melee. And if another enemy comes behind me, I can leap off of that enemy and slam this guy in the head and then jump back to the guy I was fighting. And you really feel empowered when you're hovering in the air and you're bashing guys left and right with your fists and your feet. It's almost ninja-like. In this game, you can actually load in different fighting styles into the armor. We have a better AI unit, which is artificial intelligence. So now the, the enemies react and think instead of just coming at you like a bunch of idiots. That brings a new layer of strategy to combat that the first game just didn't offer us. We've created a completely new and unique story that lives in the film world. The voice of Iron Man right now within the Marvel Comics is Matt Fraction. He actually won an Eisner Award for his Iron Man series. That's basically the most prestigious award you can get in comics. He really has the voices of the characters down cold. And he really brought the story to life. The story in the game is a collaboration among Matt Fraction, Michael Kirkbride, and myself. So the three of us together put together this story and evolved it over time. Iron Man is very sleek. He's the Ferrari. War Machine is the Hummer. I mean, War Machine is this amazing juggernaut of artillery. From player standpoint, you can choose which one you rather see yourself as. In some of the levels, there'll be differences in the way you handle things. Some of the things that were challenging as Iron Man are easier as War Machine, as some of the things that were breeze as Iron Man are more challenging as War Machine. War Machine has a complete different set of weaponry. Every set of melee attacks that he has is completely different. He's not going to hack the terminal to get into that room. He's going to slam that door open and just, you know, tear it apart, get in there, and rip everything up. You basically get to choose, decide how to load out the characters. You can create your own weapons. You can create your own munitions for weapons. If I want to have nothing but missiles and rockets all over my suit, I can do that. The vision that I had for this game is one where the enemies are significant threats to Iron Man. Starting with Crimson Dynamo, who is this massive, hulking, red brute, bent on destruction. And then it, it all culminates in Ultimo. That's a 600-foot guy. I mean, the scale is amazing. You're about this big, and he's about that big. You want to feel heroic. So we made sure that the threats are real, even to Iron Man. We're just saying, hey, pick up the joystick, get in it, and feel like a hero. That's what the game is going to offer to you. Great story with great classic enemies, but shown in a new context. It's going to make them fresh and interesting all over again. I could sit here for about an hour and a half and tell you all of it, but the best way to see it is to play it.